because it accentuates the essential and recalls the monastic rigor of the uniforms of the Aubazine orphanage. Because for Gabrielle Chanel, it reveals a woman's radiance. Thanks to Chanel, black evolved from the garments of servants and those in mourning to become since 1926 the color of elegance, epitomized by the little black dress. I impose black. It rains still, because black trumps all, Mademoiselle declared. White. Because in the beginning there was white. Because it captures light, illuminates the face, enhances beauty. Because it's the color of absolute transparency and transcendence. White because it reminds Coco of the cornets of the nuns from her childhood and of the communion dress given to her by her father. Beige because it's warm, simple, natural. Because it's the color of the worn earth of Mademoiselle's native Auvergne and the beaches of Deville, Biarritz and the Venetian Lido. Because it is for her the color of the outdoors, of a natural complexion and the healthy glow of skin kissed by the sun. Gold, because it embraces both the genuine and the faux. The genuine gold given to Gabrielle by the Duke of Westminster. The imitation gold of the costume jewelry that she endlessly invented. Gold, because of the religious relics and the cleric's brocade robes that ornamented her childhood. Gold, because of the treasures from St. Mark's Cathedral in Venice, the Byzantine Empire, or the Baroque art that always inspired her. Red, because it's the color of life, of blood, as Gabrielle Chanel said. Red because it permits, when used as the lining of a purse, a quick find of what one is looking for. Red because worn on the lips, it became Gabrielle's signature and her declaration of good spirit. If you're sad, add more lipstick and attack. Men hate women who weep, Mademoiselle asserted. Black because it creates depth among other colors. Because it stands out against a white label, shines in the makeup case's luxurious lacquer, lines eyelids and enhances lashes. White, because it illuminates Coco's strands of pearls, her camellias and the bouquets of flowers that surround her with perpetual spring. White, like her timeless silk pyjamas, like the dress that she wore to Jagilev's funeral. White, like satin, like chiffon and, offset with black braids, the white tweed of the Chanel suit. Beige, because against the sacred union of black and white, it offers a counterpoint, an element of neutrality and heightened elegance. Beige, because with Chanel makeup, it revives the skin. Gold, because it shines within the number 5 bottle, because it adorns the chain of the quilted bag and the buttons of suits. Gold, because it is the triumph of Chanel. Red, because it is the color of passion, of courage, of fire and of energy. Finally, black and white together, because one cannot exist without the other, because they are absolutely pure and in perfect accord, because they are the stroke of Karl Lagerfeld's pen, because they are the signature of Chanel.